watching Let's Chat. Michelle Morris joining us now with Scenic City Wellness talking about something they're doing, which I think we could all take a more than a page or two from. And this is called the uh, Wings of Hope. First of all, good to see you, Michelle. Thanks Hi. for joining us. Give me a little bit of the overview about what happens at Scenic City Wellness. So Scenic City Wellness is a primary care office. So we see everything from acute care to chronic care, including mental health. That's also a licensed clinical therapist there at the office uh, that's associated with Scenic City Therapy. And you guys are doing something called Wings of Hope. Tell yes. me a little bit about that. So Wings of Hope is an offset or in addition to Bridging the Gap program. This program was made possible through the uh, City of Chattanooga, mm -hmm. the Office of Community Health through a grant that was received. And so Scenic City Wellness provides primary care to people who are underinsured or have no insurance and so we saw that there's a need for mental health and for people to kind of be able to deal with grief sure and so we developed a program to take to the community uh, Avondale Recreation Center to take to the community to help those individuals deal with grief on top of helping them deal with mental health issues such as depression or anxiety because the two of those locked together can be a downward spiral it's tough to get out of absolutely absolutely what advice would you give for somebody who may have suffered a recent loss or a not too recent loss and they're still kicking it around? That there's hope. So the first thing is you got to have hope, right? You got to have something to, to look forward to. And so at some point in our life, everyone experiences grief, right. not necessarily the death. It could be due, due to a divorce or something like that, sickness. And so there are therapists or counselors out here that are willing to help you go through that process because it's a process and everyone goes through it differently and so we saw that there's a need to discuss that and let people know that there are programs that they can participate in to help them go through that mm -hmm. uh, we have a pro through this program we did yoga uh, another thing we did was painting uh, dancing. So there's certain ways to deal with grief, but the main thing is to let them know that there's hope. What have you heard from the folks who have gone to see you about grief? And I know they do a lot of follow-ups with you. What have you heard back from them? This helped me in this way, this helped me in another way. And Tell so me. one of the participants, actually my husband has said that it has actually helped him learn to cope and to be able to learn to talk about it. Because so, so often we hold things in. Mm -hmm. And so we feel like that we don't have anybody to talk about it. I'm the only one experiencing this. And so one of the things that they said is that they're able to talk about it now because people have not been talking about it and that it's okay to talk about it. Beyond the initial splash of grief, the reaction from others who are not grieving with you frequently is, all right, you cried, now suck it up, buttercup. And that's the wrong way to handle grief. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hope and help is available. What's involved? What's that first initial step that someone needs to do if they want to contact you about a loss, a grief in this case? In this case. Okay. So they can go to our websites, uh, look us up on, so on our social mm -hmm. media pages, and also call the office and just make an initial appointment so we can have a contact and see where the need is. And you will also tell us about the importance of maintaining your physical health because it does have a well-being on your mental and your emotional health. Absolutely. They go hand in hand. And so if you consider yourself pretty healthy, I tell people just get your annual exams once a year, right? right? That is the most important thing. Make sure you see your primary care provider once a year. And then when you're having those days that you're down and they're consistent, then make an appointment to see your primary care because part of that is probably your mental health, which is a Affecting sure. your physical health. And you can find out more about the Wings of Hope sessions that are coming up, and they are plural. And again, it's all thanks to the folks at Scenic City Wellness. Uh, we hope you'll come back and join us, Michelle. Thanks so much. And again, find out more. Tell us your website once again. Website is www.sceniccitywellness.com. Sceniccitywellness.com. You can find out more about how to get your annual appointment scheduled. You can also find out more about the Wings of Hope initiative. And we certainly hope you will. All right, that'll do it. We have got to run. We hope you'll join us later on today for the morning's top stories and more on the midweek forecast. That'll come up here today, starting at 12 noon.